Hi, welcome to Bob's Bowling Tips. Today we're here to celebrate a great friend and, well, an extraordinary bowler with amazing balls. Yes, I had the pleasure of touching these balls quite often. Sure, I moved them out of the way just to play with my own balls. But I have been there, brother. Haven't we all? But it was, it was the fact that I was able to touch him, and he didn't mind, that really made him special. Sure, he didn't wash them all the time, and they were kind of dirty, but that's okay. Because that means I will forever have a little bit of him on my hand. We have all been there, brother. <laughs> I'm sure we have. <laughs> and then some. And then some. I'd like to share a fond story with you. It seems our friend, when he got sick with cancer, ended up in the hospital. And I want to show you what kind of friend we are. He needed to go to the restroom, and there was not a nurse around. Mark and I flipped a coin, and I lost. What did you have to do, Bob? Well, I hate to say it, but I lifted it up while Mark held the cup. Did we notice the rubber gloves on the wall? No. No, we did not. But that's okay, because I'm not ashamed. He was my friend. <laughs> Get that camera off me! Jeez Louise. <laughs> yes, Fagan, a.k.a. Aaron Lewis, we will forever miss you. I have your balls, and that I will always be proud of. They're still dirty. He never cleaned them, but that's okay. As he, would, as he would say, don't lick the balls because they're dirty. And remember, folks. Oh, one other thing. One other thing. I got to I got to say it. He was the only person I knew who could loft his balls eight feet in the air, have them hit the ground, and still be smiling about it. And when he pulled his thumb out of the hole, it always popped. There you go. So Aaron, from me to you, I will always love you. You'll always be my friend and forever in our hearts. Does anyone else have anything they would like to say? Happy bowling. Happy bowling, Aaron. Happy bowling. And we will miss you. <laughs>